Manlio Di Stefano is an MP from the Populist Party, the Five Star Movement. He told my colleague Susanna Streeter that he thought the growth numbers I just told you about don't actually reflect Italy's real prospects. These are not stable and uh, structural reforms that are changing our economy, but it's the global trend. And we are just, I mean, rebounding on that. The worrying thing is that the growing data do not reflect the real situation of the country. We still have 10 billion poor people in our, in our country. We still have a huge unemployment, especially in the youth sector, with peaks of 60%, especially in the south of Italy. So the real data shows something different. So what do you propose as part of the Five Star Movement to try and alleviate the youth unemployment rate? We have to rethink the interference between the state and the entrepreneur in our country. We have to rethink the way we adopt innovation in terms of artificial intelligence, in terms of startups, in terms of like the use of the blockchain we are discussing in these days in our in our country. And all all an interaction that it was already made, for example, in the United States, where they say that they don't interfere with the, the real economy, but it's not true because they give money to the startups, for example. In Italy, we don't have any kind of uh, help. And in Italy, if you try to open a startup, you immediately have to pay taxation. So uh, this is some, the, the Italian uh, structure is it's, it's an old one. So we are not really able to attract investment from abroad. And most, more dangerous, we are stopping the internal uh, will to create a new business, uh, to open uh, to new kind of economies. A lot of your plans involve spending a lot of money. For example, this um, idea of giving uh, people who are unemployed 780 euros every month for not actually doing a job. How would that help the economy and how would you pay for it? We have this uh, reform called uh, Reddito di Cittadinanza, it's like uh, citizenship income. It means that just the fact that you, uh, you are an Italian, it gives you the money that you need to have a, a good life but you have to be included and be a, actively part of uh, a system that gives you, provides you uh, jobs opportunity and you can uh, uh, refuse two of them and the third one you will lose your income and it brings you uh, into a, a system that will give you a new qualification in terms of uh, you know, uh, job qualification. So uh, to find this money, it is approximately 17 billion euros. Uh, you, you, we have already the, the, the economic coverage and it's made by all the uh, income that this, our government is using for other things in this moment. Will people really be satisfied by a universal basic income? Many of the people who leave to find jobs abroad from Italy are seeking careers, aren't they? This reform is not uh, saying that you cannot have a career. It's just something that uh, gives you some fresh air, I will, I will call it, in the period where you are, you are uh, unemployed. So uh, we, we are not trying to say that you can stay at home doing nothing and we pay for you. We are just saying that we give you a new possibility every time that you lose your job.